Hello, Avenue Kids. My name is Kayla, and I'm so happy that you're here at Avenue Kids Church Online. Today is going to be a fantastic day in Avenue Kids. God has a plan for us, and His plan is always best. It has been so cool to learn about Joseph's life, and to see how God worked out even the hard parts of his life for good. Before we hear today's Bible story, let's head over to the clubhouse and practice our memory verse. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I know is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 His love will never change. I know they are good. I know they. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know.
Mm, yep, I have strawberries for Kai and uh, gummy worms for Lucy. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm so happy to see you today. So I'm making sure we have all the things we need for everyone to follow their ice cream sundae plans. Let's see. Kai wants vanilla ice cream. Check. Lucy wants chocolate ice cream. Check. Now let's check our toppings. Kai wants whipped cream. Check. And strawberries. Check. Lucy wants gummy worms. Check. I want chocolate syrup. Oh, and sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Wow, I think we have everything we need for everyone to follow their ice cream sundae plans. And each plan is different. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Following some party plans, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Everybody has a different plan for their ice cream sundaes. You have many different plans. It's true. I have a story about the best plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Ready? And go. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friends, Goldie and Barkley. We're celebrating Ice Cream Sunday Month with a doggy Sunday party. <laughs> I think they like them. <laughs> We're also celebrating because we have been learning about God's plan for Joseph, and today we get to hear the last part of his story, and it is awesome. Do you know who this is? Yep, it's Joseph. He always trusted in God's plan. And these are Joseph's 11 brothers who got super mad and jealous when their dad gave Joseph a special coat and didn't give them one. So they stole the coat, threw Joseph in a hole and sent him with people who took him far away from home where he was thrown in jail. Then Joseph was taken out of jail, helped the Pharaoh learn about his dreams and got put in charge of giving hungry people food. Wow. Three cheers for God's plan. God's plan is awesome. Hip, hip, hooray. Can you say that with me? Ready? Hip, hip, hooray. One more time. Hip, hip, hooray. No matter how hard it was, Joseph knew that God loved him, that God was always with him, and that he could trust God's plan. But that's not the end of the story. There is more to God's plan. Remember Joseph's brothers? Well, now back at home, Wait a minute, Stormy Jane, you're not a brother in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. That's better. Okay, so back at home, the brothers were super hungry and had no food. And guess where they had to go to get food? You got it, they had to go see Joseph because he was in charge of all the food. But they didn't know Joseph was in charge. Well, one day, Joseph was at the palace when his brothers came looking for food. Joseph was so surprised to see them. Show me your surprise face. <gasps> That's good. Joseph had a choice to make. Choice one, he could forgive his brothers and give them food to eat. Or choice two, he could just send them away hungry. What do you think God wanted Joseph to do? Choice one, you're right. That's exactly what Joseph did. Joseph forgave his brothers and gave them food to eat. He even gave them a hug and was happy to see them. It was the best ending to the story because Joseph followed God's plan. I love how Joseph followed God's plan. I want to follow God's plan and you can too. God's plan is the best plan. Oh, hey Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God has the best plan of all for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. 
Joseph's life really shows us how God's plan is always the best plan. God loves us so much and always has the best plans for us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! God's plan is always the best plan. But we have some great plans for our ice cream sundae party too. I can't wait for the party to start. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Can you guess what time it is? That's right, it's small group time. My name is Stacy, and today I'd like for us to pretend we're Joseph's brothers and we're so hungry, like we're starving friends. We're hungry. We're on our way to Egypt to find food. Now ready? Follow me, cause we need food. Let's go. That was fun. You make great hungry brothers and sisters. Let's sit down and talk about today's Bible story. Ready? One, two, three, sit down with me. My favorite part about today's story is when Joseph's brothers go to Egypt to find food and they find something even better. Their brother Joseph! God used Joseph to save a lot of people from being hungry, including his own family. God's plan really is always the best. The Bible verse we have learned will help us to remember that God has a plan for us and it's always the best. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. Now, let's put our Bibles down, let's stand up and say it together, but with motion. Ready? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, way to go, you guys are awesome. Can you tell me who has a plan for you? God has a plan for you, he sure does. And I hope you never forget it. Okay, it's time to write in our prayer journal. Let's get it. Always a red pen, always. <laughs> it had to be a hard time for Joseph to forgive his brothers after all the mean things they did to him, but Joseph did it. Joseph forgave his brothers, he gave them a big hug and he gave them plenty of food, not starving anymore. Joseph trusted that God's plan is always best. Today, we'll make a list of things we know God wants us to do. Sometimes they will be hard to do, but we do them anyway because we know God's plan is always the best. Let's all think of one thing God wants us to do. Hmm. God wants us to forgive others. He wants us to love our family. He wants us to be kind to others. God wants us to talk to him, and we're doing that now with our prayer journal. This is awesome. We can use this list when we talk to God. Now everybody go ahead, wherever you're at, go ahead and bow your heads, close your eyes and pray with me. Dear God, thank you for everyone watching today. We know it won't be e always easy to forgive others, to love others and to serve our family and to be kind to others and to make time to talk to you, God. But we want to forgive and we wanna be kind. We want to love and serve our families and make time to spend with you, God, and talk to you in prayer. Please help us because we know your plan is always best. We love you, God, in Jesus' name, amen. I had so much fun with you guys today. Remember, God has a plan for you and God has a plan for me, and we can always trust that plan. And I can't wait to see you all again next week. Don't forget to go online at avenuechurch.cc slash kidsonline for all of our fun activities and parent cues. See you again soon.